Okay, so let's create some lips. So I'm just going to alt click around this and then extrude, lock it in with enter and then scale on the Z. I want to take proportional editing off and then scale on the Z to bring them together. And there we go. Now we got some lips. Now they're clearly in the way. Um, which is fine, but let's grab them on the Y and just bring them in a little bit and we will we will deal with these momentarily but for the time being there's just Not nearly enough geometry not like we we need way more geometry with for for what we're gonna be working with so let's Add a loop cut with control R and bring that in a little bit And maybe bring it down On the Z right we'll bring that in we can scale this in a little bit and now we can now we have some form to play with okay we can bring these up we can you see we're just we can bring our our jawline up a little bit okay let's add another one and we'll keep this out here okay so we can uh, we can make our cheek nice and fluffy Okay, and also now that we've added more geometry down here, we can bring our chin out, which we really weren't able to do before. So we can come in and we can grab these and bring them in like that. And we can grab these, bring them up, grab this, bring that over, grab these, bring that over, up like that, up like that, grab this one. And it's just kind of a it's a feel thing right so we want to bring this in we can bring this in let's add one more just like that okay okay you can grab these bring these down right and if we want we can take these rotate them and match them up with our reference right if we're gonna make such a big deal about the importance of using a reference then well let's use a reference and all I'm doing right here is sliding okay yeah we'll probably add another one here but in the meantime let's just try and let's try and sync these up and then this will probably come over here and we'll we'll obviously we'll take care of the nose when when we get closer to uh, to taking care of the nose, right? And there, there's obviously much more to do, and we're going to do that. But for the time being, um, if you got this far, then honestly, you guys feel good about yourselves, okay? And I mean that. Like this is, it's not an easy thing to do, especially if you're just learning Blender. Then it's then it's the, it's it's a hard thing. There's there's a learning curve, and it's steep. Okay, I'll bring these back, bring these in like this, okay? And we're just, just follow our reference. This is like, in football, you follow your lead block. In modeling, you follow your reference. Like, this is why reference is important, okay? We need to add a little bit more geometry. So I'm going to add a loop cut here and lock that in. And I'm going to add another loop cut here and lock that in. Because when you talk and smile and frown, oh, there's a lot going on at the corner of the mouth. So we really want the right amount of geometry there. And all I'm doing is sliding these out with double G. And I suggest you do the same because we want, we want clean topology. And this helps that. And what I mean when I say clean topology, look, I'm going to hit uh, three. I can select this face. If I hit alt click, that's clean topology. If I hit this way, I get this, this circle. Okay. You want edge loops everywhere you look. Um, if you don't have that, then you don't have clean topology. And when it comes to rigging and making, um, you know, a, a game ready character or uh, an animation ready character or something like that, um, you're, you really you need it's a necessity you need a character with clean topology and I got proportional editing back on I'm moving around that bring this out a little bit 
right? You can smooth this out. Okay, so now we're going to come under here and we're going to work on this part of the body. Um, this is called the submandibular area, right? Which is a bit of a mouthful unnecessarily. If you want, you can just call it the jowls because it's also known as the jowls. Um, or it uh, it might be a you ha if you have a double chin, it will happen in the submandibular triangle. So any pre-meds watching this, uh, welcome to the channel. I think it's cool as hell that you uh, you're pre-med and into 3D modeling in Blender, which is which is really neat. Um, but you would know this as the submandibular area, and anybody who's not pre-med might just know this as the jowls. So so what we're gonna do? Just hit three, and then let's grab one, two, three down, and one, two, three, four up. Okay, so you want 12 total squares selected. So if you go in, a run, in the front view, you'll see this, and in side view, you'll see that. Okay, and we're just going to go like this. Delete faces. Shkabam. All right. Now we've created a big gaping hole. Okay, these two are chin and extrude back. Okay, so we're going to build out uh, the bottom of our chin like this. And then we, what we can do is we can hit one to go back into vertex mode. And we can create this neat angle right here. So we got one, two, three, four. Hit F, boom, there's our face. Okay, and now with this, we can kind of, we can grab this and bring this down like that. We can bring this over. Like that and now we're bringing now we're creating just a little more shape to the face right but we're also controlling how the head is going to, to connect to the neck we're gonna add one more loop cut right here okay just I want a little more geometry okay and this will be able to straighten this out like that so we got that like that nice all right so there's there's some fullness some nice round fullness in the face we've got some good quads all right you know what we're ready to do what we're and i yes i could have said we're just going to model under the chin but what's the point of learning the word submandibular if you're not going to use it someone someone tell me somewhere that you know what i'm talking about grab these we'll grab these we'll bring these out like that I feel like too many too many people too often worry about making it look too fancy pants and we don't need to be fancy pants yet at all you guys don't need to be fancy pants okay are you ready let's tab into object mode right click and shade smooth and just like that hey okay now we got we got a fun thing happening and if this is too jagged for you uh, one thing we can do we can come over into sculpt mode and there's a brush called smooth and you can just smooth that out just literally just click it and it smooths it out for you so it, it takes care of that and if you want to make your um your brush a little bigger just hit f and you can like this is sculpt mode is your is your is seriously one of your best good friends um Okay, I don't. I want to. I don't want to overdo it in sculpt mode because now you see clearly we gotta. We need to bring this back out. But for the most part, it worked out well. Okay, everybody, save your work. Before we dive into this any further, we're gonna add some geometry around our eyeballs and our mouth. So our mouth area is where we're gonna need loads of geometry because. Well, if we build an animation, this part's going to do the talking. This part's going to do the blinking up here. So let me just screencast keys on. Perfect. Let's control R here and add, add a little more geometry right there. Okay, we'll bring this out like that. And then we also want to... We want to give room to build this lip out, right? And see our lip right here. I'm going to hit two just so you can see this. Our lip is kind of flat. We don't want that. We want, you know, the lips naturally kind of curve in, inward. 
So let's control R again. You know, what we can do is grab these on the Y and bring that in. All right, so now our, our lips are here. I'll put this on solid view. I'm inside my, my head area. Um, I'm just gonna grab these three, one, two, three, four, and just grab them up on the Z, okay? We'll grab these and we'll bring these in a little bit. So these we're gonna grab on the Y like that. And now if we come to the outside, we'll see we've created the, the bottom part of that lip. So it's no longer a flat lip, okay? There's some, there's some form to this lip that we can, we can, we can move and manipulate, right? So it's starting, it's starting to have that full lip quality. You know what? Let's put one more around the chin right here. Here we go. All right. So we're looking, we're looking pretty good. We've added a little more geometry around the eye, around the lips and around the cheek and chin area, dimple area. Um, in the next one, we're gonna build the nose. So for now, let's save the work. You know what, let's do one more thing. Let's add a subdivision surface. We're gonna add a subdivision surface modifier eventually. Let's add it now. And that just makes it a little, a little smoother, okay? And you wanna look and see where it's not that smooth. See, it's got, it's a little, little divot around the cheek. So we wanna try you want to try and, and figure that out. Um, and we'll come here. And let's try. There, see how that, if we pull that back a little bit, it smooths it out. So where there was uh, a bit of a divot, if you see any hard lines or creases, um, that's that's your your model telling you it need to smooth it out. All right, so we are sitting pretty. I'm gonna hit numpad one right here, and you know what? That's a little bit too much of a divot around the uh, the eyeball. So let's try bringing that up a little bit. There we go. Bring that out. We got what is that? Probably here, maybe. Yep. There we go. So we've got some big. Chubby cheeks. Oh, so one thing, the subdivision surface can kind of shrink your model as well because it pulls it in. So if that happens, you know what to do. By now we can just go and make it the shape we're, the shape we want, right? Okay. Everybody, everywhere, don't care what you're doing. You're saving your work right now. And in the next one, we're gonna build out the nose. Here we go, nose.